Well, today I am going to be doing a oil change on the Toro. This is a Toro LX460. It has the Kohler Courage 20 engine in it. And uh, changing the oil should be pretty straightforward. You've got your oil drain here. You've got your oil filter here. So we drain it, swap the filter, and we're gonna put in new oil. As for capacities, I believe the capacity in this engine is 1.5 uh, liters quarts, roughly the same. And uh, well, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at the side of the Toro, and just to give you a little bit of a walk around. So, just lift up your hood. This is where the oil is gonna come out. For reference, this is the air filter, the oil filter, and this is your fuel filter. Uh, you know, you, it's good to change and clean those from time to time. Today, I am just doing oil, and we're gonna extract the oil right here. I put a small little tin foil pan as my collection plate. They make a tube that you can attach to it to uh, draw it out specifically, like into a milk jug. I don't have that tube, but if you did, that'd be perfect. You, you put a tube on here, maybe you just pop off the cap, and you could then put the other end right into like a milk jug or something, and you already have a sealed container. So, anyway, first thing, we're gonna open this up. This right here, this black plastic thing, actually just twists, and then you can pull it out. I'm really surprised it's that easy. Now we're watching the oil drain. See? Nasty. Okay, so we're gonna let that oil drain out. And just to show you again, it's just, you push it in and stop it and turn it. Or you push it in and then turn it, turn it counterclockwise to open it. That's it. Okay, <clears throat> while that continues to drain, let me show you really quick how you can change the air filter. It's just these two simple screws. Screw them off, remove the cover. Your air filter has a big gasket housing. You just carefully pull it off. Mine's actually quite clean, so but you can check it. Replacing this regularly, like at the same time you do your oil change is not a bad idea. See a little throttle plate in there. Very simple stuff. I've also pulled the dipstick up just a little bit. I don't know if there'd be any creation of vacuum or something, but you can see I've pulled the dipstick up. You can see I pulled the dipstick up here, and this is just in case there is any vacuum pressure or something to make it flow a little bit easier. Or the oil. But it's just gonna be waiting for it to drain. Okay, so I let it drain for about five minutes, and now it's just a little bit of a drip. The next thing I'm gonna work on is taking off the filter. So we're gonna do that next. There. So to get off the filter, I'm gonna try using this filter wrench that I use on my cars. It might be too big, but I'm gonna give it a go. Basically, you put it in here, and as you turn it, it shrinks the diameter. Hmm, I'm worried it's gonna be too big. Lefty Lucy. Yeah. Okay, this is this is too big as it is now. I'm gonna see if I can.
this is going to be full of oil, so I'm going to pour it into the pan. <clears throat> okay, so this is what it looks like where the oil filter was. I poured the excess oil from the filter in there. Here's the old oil filter in case you're interested. So next is putting on the new, the new filter. Okay, so with the old filter out, this is the one that's going in. It's another Kohler 120501-S. The S just means it's short. So I think you can get a longer one and it would work just fine. They might even be cheaper. I bet there's a whole lot of crossover on these, but whatever. I have the exact Kohler one. We're gonna put it in. It says we should oil the gasket before we assemble it. So I'm just gonna use the oil from the last gas gasket and get it on there. There, now it's got an oil, oil on the rim. It says it wants to go three quarters of a turn after the gasket touches. Okay, so it's contacting. It can go farther. Okay, that seems really tight. Okay. Filters in. Okay, so the next step is putting in the oil. This is the dipstick. This is where you check your oil. It's also where we'll put the oil in. I'm gonna get a funnel so we don't make a big mess. As for what oil to put in, Toro recommends that you put in 10W30. It'll take 1.5 liters, and that's roughly the same as 1.5 quarts. But you'll just put in a little bit and then check the oil like normally. Put the dipstick in, pull it out, measure it. As for me, my Toro is going to be running a full synthetic Castrol Edge. And that's just simply because my BMW Twin Turbo runs on this stuff. And it's what I have laying around in my garage. Interestingly enough, the Toro user manual does call out that full synthetics are okay for it to use. And that it increases its cold start protection. But considering how expensive synthetics are, I would just use standard 10W30. Okay, that was half a quart. I'm gonna put in one more quart. Okay, I previously put in a half quart. I'm gonna put in another half quart. It should take this whole quart, but I'm gonna measure it just to make sure I'm not way off base. It'll also probably take a little bit of time for the filter to absorb the oil. Well, right now it's reading full. So I'm gonna let it settle for a couple minutes. I might even turn it on and let it uh, swirl it just a little bit. Cause I, by uh, technical specifications, it should take one, I should be putting in a half quart more than what it has in there now. Okay, I just ran it really briefly to circulate some oil through the system. And uh, just as uh, we sort of calculated, it is just 
needs a half quart more. So that's perfect. We're gonna put in the last half 